William Hopefully your favorite videographer from Two Hats Publishing. I welcome you to another Two Hats special of community events. Let's look in and see what's really happening. Agenda item 35. Authorize one, the acceptance of a grant from the Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs, TDHCA, in an amount not to exceed $837,283 to provide services to the homeless through the Homeless Housing and Services Program, HHSP, for the period September 1st, 2018 through August 31st, 2019. Two, the establishment of appropriations in an amount not to exceed $837,283 in the FY 2019 TDHCA Homeless Housing and Services Program 1819 Fund. Three, the receipt and deposit of funds in an amount not to exceed $837,283 in the FY 2019 TDHCA Homeless Housing and Services Program 1819 Fund. Four, the Chief of Community Services to enter into, represent the city with respect to, and execute the contract with TDHCA for the FY 2019 <coughs> TDHCA Homeless Housing and Services Program Grants Fund. Five, the first amendment to the amended and restated management services contract phase two with Bridge Steps to revise exhibit one to include FY 2019 TDHCA HHSP grant funds in an amount not to exceed $837,283 for the period September 1st, 2018 through August 31st, 2019 and six, execution of the grant agreement, not to exceed $837,283. Thank you. I'll entertain a motion, Mr. Thomas. Uh, move approval. Got a motion and second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Agenda item 36. Authorize, one, the city manager to address the current shelter crisis through the emergency procurement of additional shelter beds at Dallas Life, and two, a contract with Dallas Mission for Life, DBA Dallas Life, to provide up to 100 pay-to-stay shelter beds consisting of overnight shelter stays of up to 90 days per person at a rate of $12 per person per night, support services and hygiene kits with no requirement to participate in faith-based programming for the period August 22nd, 2018 through September 30th, 2019, not to exceed $440,000. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Move approval. Got a motion and second. Discussion? Mr. Medrano. Yeah, just uh, for the record, I had some, some folks call me. This is just um, approving the track one, correct? All right, yes. thank you. Uh, Mr. Felder. Yeah, so um, can I get someone to the mic to answer what the $12 includes? Good morning. Monica Hardman, Director, Office of Homeless Solutions. The $12 per night includes overnight shelter as well as case management. Okay, so no, no meals or anything? That Meals is included. So in these, any standard care that they would get, meals, hygiene kits, case management, it's all included. How can you do it for $12? That is their current rate that they charge for anyone who stays in their pay-to-stay program. Okay. So um, now, is that going to uh, be for all future Track 1 uh, contracts? So for this contract it is just for a year so if we were to continue it it would have to be a future budget enhancement <clears throat> okay um i you know I'm, I'm in favor of it i just wanted to get some information because you know i'm looking forward to uh, churches to be able to to uh, participate in this process so uh, that that's really all i wanted to know um, i'm in favor of it i think we need as many shelter beds as we possibly can get and I'm looking forward to when the churches will be able to participate in this process. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kleiman. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just have some questions about the procurement process. How did we, um, did this go through our standard procurement? Great question. So we did an informal bid process where we asked all of our existing shelters who had capacity to add an additional 50 beds. We had two respondents. It was Dallas Life as well as the bridge. Everyone else 
acknowledge that they did not have any capacity to add any additional shelter beds. So is that an allowable procurement procedure as opposed to putting out an RFQ and putting out an RFP and getting vendors to bid this thing down? Can someone speak to that? It seems like this is circumventing our standard procurement process. I think that's a legal question. Mr. Casto, just did we go through the right procurement process for item number 37, excuse me, 36? Ms. Well, Martinez is approaching the mic, Mayor. Okay, thank you. Yes, Barbara Martinez, City Attorney's Office. It went through the uh, health and safety exception of 252. It's not technically. I, please, I cannot hear it. It's old. It went through the health and safety exception under 252. It's not technically an emergency procurement, but there is an exception to. Uh, okay, so is 252 an emergency procurement or not? No, no, 252 is a requirement for competitive bidding. Okay. So there's an exception for the city manager to uh, do a contract like this for health and safety. Under emergency circumstances? It doesn't have to be an emergency. The exception is for health and safety. Okay, so the city manager can procure anything that he determines is for health and safety without going through the standard procurement process, according but, to that's state. That's a statute yes. or city uh, code. It's a state. It's a state exception. Okay, you have a lot of flexibility there, Mr. Manager. Thank you, uh, Mr. Narvaez. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I I just want to put on the record because Mr. Madrano asked a question and you were on the other end of of the. Um, of the chamber and want to make sure if you can just say on the record that this is only approving track one so I can make sure a lot of folks are feel confident and comfortable could you please say that this is only passing track one I'd be happy to this is for track one of our homeless solution strategy this is a piece of it we will also have the second piece with bridge steps at a later date thank you very much thank you mr. mayor thank you mr. Atkins okay you gonna stay there uh, question that I want to concern is $12 a night uh, for the beds and the case management what is what consists of the case management what do they do so case management is whatever they need so it could be health services mental health services dental services this is working with them on their housing plan to find permanent housing this could be any type of workforce development whatever they need okay so with the case management, so if you have 150 homeless people stay overnight and you have 100 different applications, mental health or whatever, who tracked them, who followed them, who keep the data? So it's the case managers. So, so is there one case manager for all 150? How many case managers do we have? It depends on each operation. I'd be happy to get the specific number of case managers for Dallas Life. Yeah, that's what I would like to have for both Dallas Life and, sure and the shelter. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Um, Mr. Mayor, I have a question for if I could address Mr. Feld. I see he stepped out. Please. So, oh, no, he's gone. We'll go so back. Can, come yeah, back. Yeah, you can bring. We'll come back, back to you, yeah. Mr. Mr. Kingston. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. The uh, Ms. Hardiman, you answered Mr. Madrano that this funds track one. Um, the, uh, where are we on trying to address the needs that we're going to be addressed in track two? Is, that, is there a time frame for that to, to return? There is no set in stone time frame. We have basically taken the feedback that we received from city council on August 1st and we've started over on that track. So we don't have anything new to report. What I will say is that it is uh, still you know what? Let's stay let's stay on this item. Okay. So we, we you can take that offline with him to make sure you get the, he gets your answer. It's shelter bread beds, Mr. Mayor. This is fully within the the scope of this item. Yeah. Uh, I don't think track 2 was so. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> man, a great presiding officer. Wonderful. Um, okay, I agree with Mr. Kleinman. Um, there, I'm going to vote for this 
Um, but as Ms. Martinez pointed out, there is no emergency. We at City Council, you know, we, we have a procurement process. It's not perfect, but we're pretty proud of it, and I think it's improved in the last few years. And I, I don't understand why we would go around it, especially if there's not an emergency. I think now at this point, there is some emergent circumstance. The plan for utilizing Dallas Life, I think, is, is reasonably defensible, so I'm going to support you. But, but don't do this again, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Can I address Mr. Felder? Please. Uh, Councilmember Felder, I know you had, uh, well, let me ask you a question. Then you give me, are there churches that you've been in communication with who are interested in uh, potentially helping with, uh, with this as it relates to the homeless? Absolutely. Okay. I would suggest that you go ahead and have them to contact Monica or Nadia. There are churches I've already had them to meet with. That way, as we move toward that process, if we make whatever change was on it, they're already, you know, in process. Yeah. So go ahead and have those those churches to, to contact uh, Monica and Nadia. Yeah, we, uh, she and I have already been in communication, and, and that plan is already in the works. Um, so we're, we're on schedule for that. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, ma'am. Thank you. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Agenda item 37, authorized supplemental agreement number one to the FY 2017-18 contract with Health Services of North Texas, Inc. to provide scattered site housing assistance for persons with HIV AIDS to revise the statement of services and budget to reallocate funding in the amount of $26,344 from the emergency tenant-based rental assistance ETBRA housing services and program administration project sponsors budget categories to the ETBRA financial assistance budget category with no net change in the contract amount. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Move approval. Second. And a motion is second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. Agenda item 38, authorized supplement. Supplemental Agreement Number 1 to the FY 2017-18 contract with Legacy Counseling Center, Inc. for housing opportunities for persons with AIDS, master leasing, emergency vouchers, to revise the statement of services and budget to reallocate funds in the amount of $42,000 from the housing facility operations, emergency vouchers, supportive services, and administrative cost budget categories to the housing facility operations master leasing budget category with no net change in the contract amount. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Move approval. And a motion and a second. A discussion, Mr. Kleiman. Yes. Uh, I, I have a question with regards to the master leasing budget category. Is this part of this four stage plan, the master leasing, or is that a different? This is different. Different, okay. Okay, because we hadn't quite approved that plan. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, Ms. Gates. I have a quick question for you. Thank you, Mayor, uh, for Monica. So these vouchers are vouchers that come through the city. They don't go through another agency. Is that correct? So these are not um, through the city. Are you saying like DHA vouchers? Well, it, it says the emergency vouchers and the funds for 42000 Yeah, so it's with the agency. It's not the city of Dallas vouchers. So that so who's paying for the forty two thousand? So it's it's the agency that's paying for these. So what it is, it's what similar agency? to a what agency? This one is for um, legacy council counseling. So the contract with so they they are providing those vouchers. Correct. Okay. So in legacy, so we're just contracting with legacy. We're the pass through. Correct. So it's a master lease program where they pay to have housing available for those with HIV or AIDS. And the reason why they're asking for a reallocation is that there's been higher utility expense. So they are taking money from their administration funds with their case management and putting it towards the expense to house for the housing and utility costs. Okay, but my question is then, if it's all their money, why are they asking for our approval? So this is federal. It goes through us. We're basically the pass. We're the pass through. Correct. Okay. But it, okay. it's not vouchers that we administer. It's through Legacy. Consult. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion is carried. This is William, hopefully your favorite videographer from 2X Publishing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please leave comments below or like, follow, or subscribe to us and get 
notices of all our videos. We love it even when you call.